Andre 4000 coming in at you with another garden update. Well, my last video this morning, I, I neglected to tell y'all about the benefits of the indigenous soil microbes. Every environment is different. The microbes in my soil, in my garden, is a lot different than the microbes in the soil in your garden in your house. The soil, the microbes in the soil of your house, they've um, become acclimated to the environment, to the surroundings. So it's a totally different thing. So here's what it is. Right over here, well first of all, let's start off with another update with the plums, right over here. So here's one plum. Here's another plum. I failed to mention, I got my son helping me out today, y'all. Another plum. And here is the final plum. Ooh, what? All right, well anyway, we're talking about the microbes. There are different microbes, just like there are different people, different races of people, you know. My genetics, I'm pretty good at running and jumping, and being fast, even though I'm a heavy, heavy fella. Everybody's genetics are different. Next fella that's my size may not be able to do what I do. Same thing with the microbes. So you want to blend different microbes. So that's why I got the microbes from the compost that I made that um, I showed y'all earlier today and I got the indigenous microbes that I harvested from the soil over there earlier and everything is brewing right here I'm gonna come out here later on at night and I'll put some other molasses in here what you gotta do is every every now and then you gotta come out here and stir this stuff so um, bring oxygen anyway what I'm doing right here is just brewing microbes over the coming days you'll see there'll be a froth on top of the um, tea here, when you see that froth, that's basically microbe activity. Come Wednesday, it'll be super, super frothy, and I'm gonna definitely update it and show y'all what to do. All right, 4,000 over now.